Hey guys, Johnny Crims 2000 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. This is part 7. Okay, so we are on day 12. We only have two more days left. So let's see if we can uh, finish this thing either in this part or in next part. Probably next part, because this is part... Uh, this is daytime, so... We're on day 12, but we actually have day 12, day 13, and day 14 left. Alright, so let's go ahead and, first of all, let me see what my inventory is. Can't remember. First of all, let's go ahead and change our outfit. Let's wear this one. We haven't worn this one in a while, so... Alright, we have nail polish black. Alright, so we're probably going to give that to Christy at some point. And uh, there she is. So let's go to Zack of All Trades. Let's see what we can find for Christy. I'm still trying to get her to give me some more outfits from her. There it is. There's that submachine gun. She really likes this one, so let's go ahead and wrap it. And let's go ahead and exit out. And we're going to buy something. Let's go ahead right here. We're going to buy an outfit for ourselves because, uh, just because. Um, not that one. That one seems kind of lame. Uh, I mean, we're pretty much rolling in dough. By the way, fun fact, uh, this outfit right here with the, with the little black shorts and the camouflage top is actually available as a costume in Dead or Alive Ultimate. Um, just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> okay, so let's see. There really isn't anyone that any that I really that I'm particularly digging here. You know what? Let's go w with this one. Why not? And we're not gonna wrap it because we're actually gonna wear it. Not right now, but at some point. And uh, just because we're pretty much balling right now, uh, let's go ahead and buy this one. We're going to give this one to Hitomi, because we're a nice partner and we have lots and lots of money. So, But before we get started, let's go ahead and give our present to Christy. Let's give her the nail polish. Yeah. I still don't know why she likes black. Black seems like a very strange color for a woman to, to like. And as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys are able to tell there, but Christy has gotten quite dark. Um, so, again, that just goes back to the whole tanning thing. I can give her, uh, now that she's accepting my, my gifts, I can give her, like, tanning, not tanning lotion, uh, sunscreen. And through time, that'll lighten her skin. But you, you have to give it to, to her, like, constantly. And I really don't want to do that. Because that could be time that you could be, uh, giving her other presents that appeal to her. Which uh, raises the the um, the chance of her giving you like outfits and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna give her that. We don't really care if she's dark or not. All right, so let's go ahead and do this thing. By the way, um, I've been talking about how I got my my friend Corey. He played Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball for the first time about a week ago, um, and uh, I, I I think I mentioned it in a previous part. How by the end of it, um, you know. He was sort of skeptical at first, as I'm sure a lot of people are when they first start playing this game, about whether, oh, come on, Hitomi, about whether this is sort of like a legitimate game or whether it's, you know, sort of like a perverted, you know, volleyball game or whatever. But uh, I mentioned how at the end of it, he was pretty much just, you know, we were pretty much just screaming at each other because we were we were being so competitive with one another. Oh, damn it. Ugh. I saw that coming, too. And uh, um, my friend Corey actually came back. Uh, he came over to my house again yesterday. No, the other day, not yesterday. Um, he came in. Today's Friday, so you can tell. God damn it, we're like losing really bad. So you can kind of tell when uh, this is being recorded. So this is uh, today's Friday. He came Wednesday, and uh, one of the first games. You know, I told him usually I let him pick out um, what game he wants to play. You know, being a good guest and all, or being a good host and all, I let him. I let. I usually let my friends pick what they want to play. Um, since I have such a huge library of games, I just let them pick. And the first game he chose was this game, was Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. And the first thing I, I told him was like, "See, see, oh damn it, Ugh. they're kicking our ass, man." And uh, I told him, I was like, "See, I told you, it's, a, it's like an awesome game." You know, a lot of people don't want to don't want to think of this game, you know, being fun and stuff. Damn it, Tina. But uh, it really is. Like, once you once you get used to the controls, and believe me, it took him a while to get used to the controls, but once he did, 
it, you know, I'm assuming here that he, he started having fun and stuff like that, and we went back and forth. We went like 10 matches back to back. And like I said, that's the thing about this game. It's like not, a lot of people think that, you know, again, perverted overtones and, and whatnot, but there's there's a legitimate volleyball game. And if you like, if you're into sports games, arcadey sports games, you know, very easy, pick up and play. I'm not talking about Madden where you have to memorize all these different plays and, you know, one button does like five different things depending on your position of the character and what your partners are doing and what the... I don't, you know, all this different stuff. You don't have to do that with this game. There is somewhat of a learning curve, but it's not as bad as as, as Madden. Nowhere near as bad as Madden. To this day, I still have not gotten into Madden whatsoever. And the only sport, the only football games that I have ever played uh, that I've actually enjoyed was uh, Super High Impact for the. God damn it! Like we're losing so bad. Uh, Super High Impact for the Super Nintendo, uh, NFL Street, Tecmo Bowl. And that's pretty much it. Ooh, yeah, get off me, Lei Fang. You and your Nickelodeon outfit, which I went on a complete rant that one that one part. All right, we we really have to make this next one. If we don't make this next one, we 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 pretty much lost. So we have to get on our A game here. Ooh, yeah, nice. There we go. Deuce. For those of you who don't know, deuce basically just means that now we have to go to, uh, instead of uh, going to 8 points, we just have to go to, um, or instead of going to 7 points, we have to go to 8. Kind of like the same deal as, um, like, tennis. Booyah, point. Every time, whenever, whenever you do that, especially in two-player mode, as I found out very badly uh, when I was playing with my friend, um, you have to time it whenever you go up to try to block a shot like that because if you go too early like both of those times I just you know Tino went up way too early and I could see it from a mile away so I knew even before Kasumi started her jump I already knew to uh, to to tap it instead of try to spike it down because I knew she would just block it all right let's go ahead and change our outfits here uh, which ones are we doing I think it was this one there it is and we're going to be able to play one more game. Let's see. Anybody else left? I guess it's just... Yeah, let's go with uh, Lisa and Christy. Sorry, Christy, but I got to get that money, girl. I was actually thinking, um, this part's actually pr most likely just going to include part uh, day 12 and day 13, which is going to leave part 8, which is the final part uh, of this Let's Play with day 14. I was thinking that at some point I'm probably... Okay. Ooh, yeah. I, actually, I'm, I'm gonna think about this a little bit because... Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, nice. Yeah, oh! Even I gotta say, that was a nice... That was a nice save. That was a nice save. Yes! Alright. Um, I was thinking... I don't know whether I want to go ahead into the casino because I'm not. I'm most likely I'm never gonna come back to the save file. So, um, I, oh damn! I was thinking like if just for like shits and giggles, just bet all of the money that I have, um, <laughs> just for the hell of it. Ooh yeah, get off me, Lisa. Um, sometime during the last day. Now the thing is that if I can't. See, like, I can't do it. Hmm. I'll probably end up doing it right now, actually. So when we go back to the hotel, I'm, I'm going to go to the casino and just bet, like, crazy, like, $2,000, $3,000, $5,000. Probably on blackjack, because I, I understand blackjack um, the most. Just because we're rolling in dough, and because this is our last, this you know, last couple days. Oh, damn. I, I must say though, Christy does look good in that outfit. The the blue really does look good on her, like the the shade of her skin and her white hair. Um, I, I'm I'm digging that look. I am really I am really liking that look. The colors really pop out really well. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh damn! By the way, um, booyah! That was the slowest setup in the world. Um, by the way, 
the new Ninja Turtles movie debuted today. Today, as I said before, if you want to know when I'm recording this, this is Friday. Um, I actually haven't gone to see it yet. Uh, I know a couple of people that I know actually went for like the midnight premiere at one of the theaters around where I live, and I was debating it. I was actually debating whether, not, not necessarily going to the midnight premiere because I'm not really that, that, that excited about going to see the new Ninja Turtles because they look like Shrek. Um, but I was debating whether I wanted to go see it t today in the morning. Um, just so you know, right now it's about, uh, what time is it? It's like 3, about to be 4 when I'm recording this. Um, I was debating whether to go for like the matinee or something just so I don't have to pay full price. But I decided against it. Um, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably still gonna see it though I'm not entirely sure when. Dude, this is a close match. I'm like yapping on and on about the Ninja Turtles, and we've been going back and forth for like the past minute. And one. <laughs> see, like that. Every time I see the girl just jump up way too early like that, I just auto, I instinctively just jump up and uh, tap it. Uh, so anyway, you know if you have any opinions about the Ninja Turtles movie, be sure to put it in the comment section below. Um, I really want to know what you guys think. Uh, I've been, I'm probably going to end up making a separate video post sharing my thoughts, like my once I go see the movie, and booyah, one. But uh, I also wanted to mention that, as some of you may or may not know, um, I, I, uh, I am a graphic designer and a digital artist. So I actually went ahead and made my to sort of celebrate my the release of the new Ninja Turtles, which I'm hoping will kind of get people to like the Ninja Turtles now. More people introduced to Ninja Turtles and stuff. So I made these really cool looking. I think they're cool. I don't care what anybody says. They're, I think they're awesome. <laughs> um, these uh, what the hell is that? Oh, that one's for Hitomi. I forgot what present that was. This one's for Christy, and that one's are. And uh, I'm gonna be posting them just for you, guys, so you guys know. I'm gonna be posting them on my ScrewAttack.com um, blog post. So if you're interested in seeing them, go check it out. I haven't made it yet, but I, I will. By the time that this video is up, it's gonna be up. So don't worry about it. All right, let's see what we got from Zach. And we got a balloon. Awesome. I don't know. Oh, I pop. It popped. Well, <laughs> that was fun. Let's see what we got from Christy. And we got black sneakers. Actually, that's pretty cool. I'm going to wear them. I don't think I've ever bought sneakers for any of the girls. All right, so I'm not going to go to the casino right now. I'm going to wait till the next day, the next night, right before I finish this video. So that way, potentially, I'll have a crap ton of, uh, of money going into day 14. So hopefully, hopefully. All right, so now we are on day 13. This is second to last day, guys. Second to last day. And um, we're not actually going to buy anything else from Zack of All Trades. Um, yeah, because we're... It, yeah, it won't, it won't really matter. The reason why I say that is, is even if I buy something for, for Christy, the only time that I have... Because I want to spend the rest of this time um, just getting money and stuff like that. So I'm not going to buy anything for her because if I do trade, send her something uh, tonight, uh, today, for day 13, it's not going to get to her until tomorrow morning, which is the last day, which even if it butters her up some, it's not going to be enough to persuade her to give us something right on the last day. So we're just not going to bother. Uh, I'm just going to spend the, the rest of my money buying stuff. If you guys don't mind. Let's go ahead and buy this one, shall we? Pink. Apparently... Yeah, let's go ahead and buy this one. Oh, damn it! I forgot. Uh, Alright, whatever. And, uh, let's go ahead and wear it. I accidentally wrapped it. Let's go ahead and open it. And wear it. There you go. Get a little, little nighty before we finish this game up. And let's go ahead and play against Tina and Helena. Which, by the way, I always pronounce it Helena, but I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Helena. Like, accent over the e, the, the first E. And, uh, for the longest time, I also called uh, Ian, like E-I-N, the character from Dead or Alive 2, and secret character pretty much every, every time after that. I called him Ian, 
but apparently it's pronounced Ian, which is just all kinds of strange. But that's the way that the voice actors and and uh, that kind of stuff pr pronounces it, which I always thought was kind of weird. And yes, I did get um, I did we did get spanked right here, but that's all right. Uh, now that I think about it, Kasumi doesn't look that great wearing a nighty and sneakers. So I'm probably gonna take off her sneakers. <laughs> That's uh, that's kind of bothering me there, kind of tacky looking. And uh, as you guys can see there, there's a good example of how there's a good amount of difference between the shades, like the tonality, uh, between Tina and Helena. So you can see the difference between somebody who has been very bronzed, uh, very tan looking, against somebody who hasn't been as tan. Um, I'm not exactly sure if Helena has her deepest shade as I said each girl can have different shades like light medium or um, or very tanned I'm not exactly sure if Helena is, is in her tan stage I guess of tanness if you want to call it that um, but again that's just another one of those I keep mentioning it but it, it is pretty neat uh, it's like it's a minor aw oh, damn minor attention to detail that goes a long way when you see that kind of stuff and as you guys as I mentioned before uh, sometimes that does make a difference of how good some of these girls can look with certain outfits as I as I mentioned when I'm um, when I was talking about Christie's outfit I'm pretty sure if Christie's blue outfit that she was wearing when we were playing her uh, against her I'm pretty sure she wouldn't have looked as good as cool as she did um, had she had like fair skin tone now I'm just rambling I'm sorry <laughs> But yeah, um, speaking of Ninja Turtles here, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who thinks they look like Shrek. I'm pretty sure that, that joke's been done to death, but really though, I... I um, by the way, the, the pieces that I made don't aren't based off of the new Ninja Turtles. They're based off of the old one. The classic, if you will. The ones from my time. And by my time, I mean like the early 90s Ninja Turtles. Uh, actually, not even that. They're, they're based off of like the comic book versions. Booyah! Which, fun fact, did you know that um, the original designs for the Ninja Turtles actually looked rather freaky because they have really elongated necks? Um, there was actually a toy line that came about. I don't, I don't know how uh, how recent. I think it's fairly recent. They came out based off of those designs from the early issues of the Ninja Turtles that have those really freakish-looking long necks of theirs, looking straight up like ET. All right, come on, come on, Kasumi. We gotta, we gotta win this match. We gotta win this match. And oh, d what the hell was that? Oh, shut up, Helena. You're lucky. You're cute. I, I do like Helena. I don't know why. I'm a sucker for girls that have like those gigantic bows. She kind of reminds me of uh, of uh, Ariel from from the Little Mermaid. She looks just like her, especially with that giant ass bow. Um, and in fact. Her, I think it's, yeah, Helena's ending in Dead or Alive 3 actually has her swimming underwater. I think it's a Dead or Alive 3, I might be mistaken. Either Dead or Alive 3 or Dead or Alive 4, I can't remember. Um, which just screams Little Mermaid, especially with that hair and that bow and those bangs. Um, Ariel is, is my favorite Disney princess. I think she's the cutest, I guess. How the hell did I go from talking about... Ninja Turtles to talking about Ariel. Oh, 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 thank God. I'm telling you, man, these matches can get pretty intense. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, what the hell? What? Wait, what just happened? Alright, let me let me see what happened here. I can't tell if, if, if the ball hit her or if I hit her. Because <laughs> that does happen. Like, it, oh, damn it. Every now and then, um... If you're trying to return, tell me. All right. If you're trying to return the ball, see the the thing that that you guys may not see here is that every time you press the B button, which again the B button is sort of like to return the ball or to set up the ball, it it basically like anytime you want to return the ball, it 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 moves your character, so it kind of locks. You don't have to be as precise with uh, with uh, trying to with. Uh, Wait, is there a base beach? Okay, there's nobody there. I wanted to play on base beach. I really like that one. I'll... No, we just played it against you guys. Um, 
So it's sort of when you press the B button and you're returning or your the ball is being thrown over to your side, you move towards it like your character automatically moves towards it to, to like uh, set the ball up. Um, but sometimes every now and then, depending on how far away you are from the ball, your character will actually jump towards it like right there, like right there. All I did was press the button once, and uh, Kasumi just automatically damn um, automatically jumped towards it like right there with uh, Ayane right there that she just jumped towards it but every now and then depending on your positioning and the positioning of your partner you can actually run right into your partner which is all kinds of annoying which I think is what happened there when uh, when Hitomi just randomly just fell over it was a bit close I couldn't tell if it was because the ball hit her in the face which can happen uh, as you guys have seen probably seen throughout this let's play but I don't know why like I love when that stuff happens. I find it hilarious. Aw, oh, damn. By the way, sometimes you guys will see here when I hit the ball and it bounced off of the um, off of the net. I actually had it one time when uh, that actually was it worked toward my benefit. Damn it. Because um, I hit the ball, it bounced off the net and it actually one of the girls jumped up to try to return the ball and because of Booyah, get off me. Um, because the ball had hit the net, it went clear over the girl, which I thought was like the coolest. It's like unintentionally being awesome here. Damn it. My spikes have been kind of off lately. And you hit the ball. Booyah! Sorry guys, I'm, I'm like really focusing. I'm trying to improve my, my spikes here. It, it's, all, it's all about timing. That, that's all it is. Oh yeah, tap. There you go. <laughs> See, every time they do that, like I'm, I'm able to catch them. I, I don't even bother trying to spike the ball down against them, despite how hilarious it looks when they fall straight on their backs. You know, I just noticed. I said I was gonna take off her sneakers, and I didn't. Damn it. She does look good in that nighty though. Although it's completely inappropriate for beach volleyball. I, I can't imagine that feeling good on your skin, like with a nighty and sand because it's coarse and rough and it gets all over the place. And tap. See, she jumps so soon. Although, it is... I, I know I haven't been able to... I haven't been doing it much, this Let's Play. Um, I probably will. If we get a good enough lead, I'll try to... I'll, I'll start trying to block the ball. It's incredibly satisfying, but... Aw, oh, damn. It's incredibly satisfying whenever you you jump up to block the ball, but it's so risky too because you run the risk of them doing exactly what I'm doing, which is just tapping the ball. Oh damn, um, that was my fault. I, I'm pretty sure Hitomi would have been able to catch that. Let's take a look, shall we? Yeah, I think she would have definitely been able to catch that. Um, that's my fault. But um, you run the risk of being of the girl just tapping the ball over you like like that. Or either that, or you run the risk of the girl completely owning you with a spike, which is just, it's uh, its aggravating, but at the same time very funny. Damn it! See, I can't control whenever Kasumi jumps like that. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just because I was too far away from the ball, but still. I guess I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to, to show off the, my mad blocking skills, which are non-existent. Booyah! Now, as you guys saw there, I know you guys have been. I know this is like second to last part of this of this let's play, but um, whenever you do that, you do get extra points if you're able to knock down your opponent. No matter if you actually get, win a point, which is also an incentive to try to spike the ball as hard as you can, booyah like that, um, as often as you can. Damn it! You should be Kasumi. No, you shouldn't be. You're too cute. I forgive you. All right, here we go. Here we go. And booyah, damn. No. Oh, okay. So now, whenever, now when I need you to dive, you don't dive. All right, whatever. Damn you, Kasumi. Damn you. All right, my my timing is way off here. See, that's the thing. Like, I'm convinced that some girls have a different timing altogether. Because whenever I play as Ayane and... Ayane, Kasumi, and Tina are usually the ones that... I have no problem spiking the ball, like, hard as hell. 
every other girl, like, I have a much more difficult time spiking the ball really as hard as, as hard as possible. Go for it! Booyah! Nice! Go for it again. Here we go, here we go. Toss me the ball! Booyah! Point! Game! Awesome. Great teamwork. I agree. And uh, you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and... Um, I said that I wasn't going to buy Christy anymore, but we're actually going to buy one more thing. One more thing. Um, since we have... I, I want this... I don't want this part to go too long. So I'm just going to go ahead. Instead of uh, playing another round of, of volleyball here, I'm just going to give her this present so we can move, move this stuff along so we can move on to the last day here. So let's go ahead and give this present to Christy, her pistol. Violent ass. And hopefully, hopefully this will entice her enough to where she can give us a, um, a an outfit. I think... I don't think we've gotten any outfit yet from Christy, which, which makes me all kinds of a sad panda, really. All right, let's go back to the hotel. Let's see if we got any presents from any of our girls, any of our girlfriends. And uh, before we go to sleep here, booyah! Yes. Although that's not a out a, a bikini box thing, so damn it, we didn't get an outfit for from her. Damn. All right, so let's go ahead and view our items. Let's see what we got from Zach and from Christy. This is from Zach. It is candles. We can view it. It looks like a very expensive candles. Yes, it does. Let's keep it. No, I have no idea. Alright, let's see what we got. And a submachine gun. I bought you this! Damn it. Shoot! But there's no bullets. Alright, so let's just keep it. I guess. Uh, submachine gun is already in the collection. Alright, well... Uh, I, I really don't know what to do with it, so let's just... <laughs> let's just leave it. Um, but as I mentioned, guys, I'm going to be... Um, I'm going to be betting mad cash here. So let's go to Blackjack. I'm very uh, let's let's bet let mm, let's bet ten thousand dollars yeah let's go ahead and bet oh damn we can't bet anymore all right whatever all right we got 18 we're actually going to uh, yeah we're gonna we're gonna stand nine 15 yes Booyah! We won two thousand dollars. I'm I'm very I'm very sad that I that we are limited to how much we can bet. That that's kind of lame. Um, let's go ahead and hit. I'm probably yeah you bust. All right, whatever. I can only I can only bet a thousand dollars. Let's go ahead and do one more time. Let's go ahead and hit. And we're gonna stand at sixteen because I don't wanna sixteen. Ah! They got exactly twenty one. All right, let's do this. And uh, I'm gonna do one more after this. Um, this is very. <laughs> I don't know if I should. Hmm. Screw it. Let's do it. Twelve. Seventeen. I'm gonna stand. Seventeen. Sixteen. Draw game. All right. And uh, you know what? Let's go to let's go to another table. Despite the fact that I uh, blackjack is probably my most familiar game. Um, yeah, uh, let's go to roulette. I, I really want to bet like just a crap ton of money. Um, I'm gonna bet on red, just an annoying amount on red. There we go. There we go. That that this one lets us uh, bet ten thousand. So we just bet ten thousand Zach dollars on red. Watch it land on like the only green space. Although I don't think that there's a such thing as a green space. So so let's go ahead and check the wheel, even though it doesn't really matter. Actually, there <laughs> there is a green space. Damn it. Alright, these girls are still uh, doing their thing here, so... That's the only annoying thing, is that you have to wait for everybody to be done. Alright, here we go. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. Damn it! I just lost $10,000. Oh, 
Alright, you know what? I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. So let's go ahead and bet. Oh, what? Oh, damn it. I hit the wrong button. I've got to bet on red again. Because, you know, screw it. I, I have nothing else to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Booyah. Uh, but after this, this is the last This is the last thing, and uh, we call it a part here. Because we have mad cash, and I can do that. By the way, um, as you guys saw from the blackjack table, those cards that you see, you can actually purchase them. I'm not exact. I think that they came out during the time that this game came out. I'm not exactly sure if they're rare or anything like that, or where you can get them. But I know for sure that you can buy those Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball cards. Um, if I find any information about them, I'll be sure to post them in like the, the description of this part, so you guys can go check it out. But if you're interested in those kind of things, I guess, I, I imagine that they, they would look cool for like a, you know, if you're hanging out with your buddies. God damn it! Black again. Alright, screw it. I'm out. <laughs> um, so anyway guys, that's it for part 7. I will see you in part 8, where we will see the last day, day 14, and we will say goodbye to Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. So let's say goodnight for the last time to Kasumi. Good night, Kasumi, and I will see you guys in part eight. All right, peace out. As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to get more stuff from me. In the meantime, if you like my videos, be sure to find me on Twitter, Tumblr, Raptor, and ScrewTac.com to see the other gaming-related content that I upload. Info is in the description. Who knows? Maybe you'll like my stuff. Maybe? Maybe?